never crush it. Call me the Welcome to Unsung, the nonprofit news magazine show. I'm your host, Anthony Walker. Today, Unsung comes to you from the Winter Garden at PPG Place. The Winter Garden is alive with the holidays, featuring Santas from around the world and gingerbread houses. In this edition of Unsung, we visit the future of Pittsburgh at Graduate Pittsburgh and continue our neighborhood revival series with a Love Your Block video. First, let's take a look at what is happening with our area nonprofits. Reading is fundamental, Pittsburgh announced renowned author Sharon G. Flake has become its spokesperson for children's literacy. Miss Flake, whose home is right here in Pittsburgh, is a nationally recognized author of children's and young adult books. Her award-winning books, Money Hungry, The Skin I'm In, the Broke Bike Boy and the Queen of 33rd Street are enjoyed by young people around the world. Reading is Fundamental Pittsburgh addresses critical literacy needs in our community by providing children with access to self-selected books, creating positive environments that motivate children to develop a long life love of reading, and engaging families in literacy practices in the home. Last year, they provided over 64,000 books and motivational reading activities to more than 20,000 economically disadvantaged children in the Pittsburgh community. More information is available at rifpittsburgh.org. The Breathe Project announced that leaders of Pittsburgh's emerging technology sector, including Google and the Pittsburgh Technology Council, have joined the Coalition for Cleaner Air in our region, which now stands at nearly 50 organizations. The group also announced that applications will begin being taken January 1, 2012, for contractors on city government connected projects for assistance from the Clean Diesel Construction Equipment Retrofit Fund. The fund was started through the Allegheny County Health Department to assist contractors on county government connected projects to retrofit their equipment to reduce harmful emissions. Nearly $1 million have been added to it by the Heinz Endowments to help small construction company owners meet new emissions reduction regulations passed by City Council in July. More information is available at breatheproject.org. Coro Pittsburgh announced the fifth annual Martin Luther King Leadership and Diversity Awards. The MLK Awards seek to put on display the best our region has to offer in terms of leadership and diversity. Nominations are currently being taken at coromlkawards.org org with awardees being announced in January. The Graduate Pittsburgh Initiative works to increase the high school graduation rate in Allegheny County. Communities and Schools drives this initiative working closely in partnership with over 30 youth serving organizations, schools, government and businesses. Let's take a look at the event. Graduate Pittsburgh is a really exciting initiative that we're all that we come together to work on the issue of the dropout crisis. So how can we as a community raise dropout rates? How can we support schools? How can we work together to really address the very real issues that kids are dealing with every day that result in them dropping out of school? So I'm here with Graduate Pittsburgh. Really, one is celebrating their incredible accomplishments as an organization in trying to increase the graduation rate, decrease the dropout rate, um, and uh, really here to provide some insights, some thoughts, especially around girls and education for girls and what we might want to continue to focus on as we help them prepare for their success. So the Graduate Pittsburgh Initiative is actually a year-round initiative where we're working on this with a whole committee of folks from youth serving organizations, from government, from businesses, from schools, and we're really coming together to do this work that then culminates in this once a year summit that we're having today, which is the Graduate Pittsburgh Summit. I'm thrilled and honored to be able to speak and address Graduate Pittsburgh. We have a serious problem in this country where we're failing a large number of our students, particularly brown and black kids kids, underprivileged, underserved. So to be able to share the space today with individuals committed to changing some of the negative trends is thrilling. And I particularly was talking about black boys. Uh, in our school is about 95% African American boys. But just trying to share best practices that are working with the hope that if more schools adopt these best practices, that we'll start to see more and more of our children succeeding at the highest levels. I like the school that he was talking about. I think it's really interesting and it caught my attention that these kids can stop doing fun things just to read a book. And I was like, 
How did they do that? My background, uh, like so many young people in this country, is really one of struggle. I, I come from an immigrant family with uh, very little education, um, grew up in poverty, grew up only knowing Spanish. So started school really with a whole host of what could have been devastating disadvantages that um, you know, oftentimes we think are what is the cause of failure. Um, and you know, my message is that none of that was my destiny, that really it was my teachers, the teachers who believed in me, who taught me well, that encouraged me to go on, that um, helped me have the level of confidence that I could be somebody. And we're also part of a high-performing network of charter schools called Uncommon Schools. And you can find that information at www.uncommonschools.org or you can visit. You can find us online, come out and visit and see what we're doing, and you'll be blown away by the brilliance of our young scholars. So we're Communities for Teaching Excellence. Our website is www4, the number four, teachingexcellence.com. And we'd love folks to join us, to be part of the movement um, around ensuring all kids effective teachers. Right now, we, we, have, we are getting a Graduate Pittsburgh website up and running. Right now, it's all through the Communities and Schools website, so that's www.cispac.org. In the last edition of the Video Spotlight, we kicked off a series on reclaiming vacant lots in our urban areas. This week, we featured the first of several videos from community groups that reclaimed an area of their neighborhood for green spaces through Love Your Block, a partnership of Mayor Luke Ravenstahl and the Home Depot Foundation to revitalize Pittsburgh block by block. The Oakland Planning and Development Corporation received Mayor Luke Ravenstahl's Love Your Block grant. They used the grant money to purchase materials to build two planter benches in the South Oakland Community Garden known as Fraser Farms. The community stated that elderly residents were less likely to travel to the back of the garden because of the uneven surfaces, and having a seating area towards the entrance of the garden would encourage more diverse age groups to stop by this once vacant lot. During the PMADD event, 24 volunteers from the University of Pittsburgh and six Keep It Clean Oakland volunteers helped construct the do-it-yourself planner benches, designed by Kaboom. Before the group finished with the second bench, there were already children from the neighborhood sitting on the first bench. The children were extremely happy to see the group building these benches for them because the children wait in front of Fraser Farms every day for a school bus, and now they will have a place to sit. Next year, the group plans to plant small trees or shrubs in the bench's potting areas to continue the theme of Fraser Farms' growth. The project was proposed by Megan Kopke, a studio arts major from the University of Pittsburgh, to symbolize the continual growth of the South Oakland community. Hi, I'm Bryn. Hi. I'm Katie. Hi. I'm Jenna. And we're all freshmen. And we wanted to do this because we love kids and because I wanted to make my home a nicer place to live. Um, this was our first Pit Make a Difference Day and we're really glad we got to do this picking of trash and the bench building. We thought it was a good first experience. And I just really like giving back to the community, especially since we live here now. It's nice to make it look pretty and stuff. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm a freshman and a psych major. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm a freshman and I'm pre-education. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm a freshman and I'm pre-law. And we love Oakland <laughs> because it's so rewarding to see kids already enjoying the stuff that we built today. Yeah, we made a bench and before it was even finished there was already kids sitting on it and playing on it so it was really heartwarming. It's nice to know that the projects you do are actually beneficial to the community. Hi, I'm Lindsay. I'm a freshman and I'm a communications major at Pitt and I wanted to volunteer today because I love helping kids and I knew this would help us help kids. And I learned that I cannot hammer at all. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alyssa. Um, I'm a freshman and I'm a biology major. And I wanted to volunteer today because I knew that it would be helping Oakland. And that's Do you want to get in there? The Pittsburgh Human Rights Network presents the second annual Human Rights Day celebration on December 9th at 6 p.m. at the Shadow Lounge. 
The Human Rights Day celebration is an event intended to honor UN International Human Rights Day, which is celebrated worldwide every year December 10th. This evening we'll celebrate the progress that human rights have made in the last year and feature local human rights organizations who have contributed to that global effort. These organizations will be on hand with information about the work and how you can get involved here in Pittsburgh. More information at globalsolutionspgh.org. Take a shot at changing the world, the sequel, once again gives students in southwestern Pennsylvania the chance to change the world by making short films about local events and people who change the course of history, all while asking, what can I do? This year, students can choose from two categories. Pittsburgh Innovation, film topics could include Rachel Carson, The Homestead Strike, Andy Warhol, August Wilson, The History of Media in Pittsburgh, and more. Or Social Action, film should feature the students' big ideas to change the world. The winner of the Social Action category will receive $2,500 from Jefferson Awards, a trip with chaperone to Washington, D.C. to attend the annual Jefferson Awards ceremony, mentorship and guidance to put their featured plan into action. The winner of the Pittsburgh Innovation category will be awarded $5,000 and three additional finalists will receive $1,000. Prize money will be split between the winners and their schools. The contest runs until April of 2012. To find out more and to learn more about topics, visit takeshotcontest.org. Thanks for watching this edition of Unsung. Be sure to share it with your friends. You can also check out our previous episodes and our Unsung Uncut series on pittsburghonvideo.org. Remember, you have a special opportunity to participate in the Unsung Holiday Show on December 19th. Do you have a resolution for Pittsburgh in 2012? Share it on video and load it on pittsburghonvideo.org with the tag Pittsburgh Resolution by December 10th. And then be sure to watch for it in the holiday episode. That's all we have for you this time. I've been your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. We'll see you next time. I said I'ma crush it Call me the golden boy Cause it shine whenever I touch it Don't rush it The flow comes naturally Actually The whole hood after me Masterpiece I outran a pace car And these dudes Get mad Cause they can't even find a day job I stay hard with or without Viagra And I said the flow crush Like the force of Niagara I'm after a major label budget But since I'm not pop top 40 They all scared to touch it